All right, so I'm out here uh, in Oslo uh, on my bike, coaching my dad, who is out for a really long run. He's aiming for three and a half hours of running here on the flat. So, you know, he's training for a marathon. He's done a lot of marathon in his life, uh, quite a few, but he hasn't been doing any of them for like 20 years now. He's done half marathons mostly. So he's getting back into the swing of things, going for a marathon in November in Nice. And um, yeah, he's out there training. So, so far, I think he's about 25K in. And we're thinking, you know, can he make it to 30K? That would be great. He should appear over there pretty soon, uh, coming back from the turnaround point. And uh, I've got some candy for him uh, so he can get some sugar uh, into his system. So far, he's been having a gel every half hour, but we've run out of gels. We didn't have enough gels, so we bought uh, just some sugar candy things. In addition to uh, the gels, he's also been drinking. I have the water in my backpack. He's been having about 200 milliliters of water every half hour with his gel. Each gel had about 30 grams of sugar. This uh, sugar package is gonna be his last fueling uh, on this trip. So he did five gels and then finishing up with some sugar candy just to change it up a little bit. And it's also a little bit cheaper than the gels. We were initially actually doing our homemade gel, but I forgot it at home and we, we realized that halfway on the way here to Oslo. So we had to pop into a sports store and buy some gels. Anyway, so yeah, he's been drinking and having uh, sugar every half hour. And uh, we're now, let's see, He's been running for three hours and six minutes now, so he's due for another fuel pit stop, and that's why I'm waiting for him here to see uh, when he comes through from over there. We'll give him the candy, and then we'll follow him, follow him along a little bit and see how he's doing. There he is, coming in, three hours, 10 minutes approximately. I come after you. Looking good, working hard, keeping it easy, it's easy intensity, but he is working hard because it's going for really long duration. He's over three hours into his run. I've never run three hours in my life. The longest run I've done is like two hours, 45 minutes, I think. So he's running for a while. Let's see if we can catch up. How's it going? It's going okay. I have some trouble with my knees, but uh, that's all. And now it's uh, 26k. So I'm uh, I'm happy. Okay. Yeah. You've been running for over three hours. Yeah, three hours and ten minutes now. That's longer than I've ever done. Uh, I've it, never run it? more than two hours 45. Oh. Well, when, uh, when I stop, it will be close to four hours. Yeah. We're three and a half hours in and my dad is working steady. Getting the job done. So in terms of volume, my dad has been running about 40 kilometers per week. I think he's peaking at about 45, which 
is about the same as the marathon distance in itself and that's not a lot it's i would say it's absolute bare minimum mileage for completing a marathon um, but still impressive here he comes um, and you know most of his long runs have just been like 20k 18k he did a 26k long run a couple of weeks ago but now actually finishing a 30k long run that's solid training for the marathon that's for sure we're almost done now we're at about 28 kilometers and he's coming through <laughs> looking good What you have to remember though is that he can probably get by on lower mileage because he has a lifetime base. He's been running for 30 years. So for him, you know, his legs, his body can tolerate a lot of a lot of running. And here he comes. How's it going? It's good. Yeah. It's fine. Good, pretty tired probably. It's getting tired and we are closing in on, on 30 kilometers, so yeah. Alright, so he made it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three hours, 45 minutes. Yes. And how long? How far? Uh, we stopped at uh, 30k and uh, that was uh, smart yeah. because I, I had uh, some trouble with my knees. Mm. I always had. A little, little bit of knee tr trouble, but otherwise pretty good I mean you yeah. you kept it steady mm -hmm. even paced yeah. um, 30 kilometers three hours 45 minutes that's pretty crazy that's that's extreme like I, I personally have run 32k once um, and I have run but only run for two hours 45 minutes at the longest so yeah. I've never done this is literally an hour more yeah. than my longest run it's pretty tough. And I think it, uh, it's 20 or 25 years since the last time I, I run 30k and more. Yeah. Because that was the last time I run a marathon. Yeah. And now you're running a marathon again? Yes, in this yeah, in, 3rd of November. In three weeks. In three weeks. Yeah. You and me. Yeah, I'll be running it too. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so that's all for today. A little bit of a view into this crazy long run. Yeah. of my dad and um, now we're gonna drive on do you, do you did you eat your banana yes yeah he had his banana I have to do as the coach says yeah. yeah and I have another banana for him in the car but it was uh, fantastic to have you beside me yeah. while uh, on the bicycle yeah, that's good yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, it's fun to coach mm. and of course this is a little bit excessive maybe to be joining him on the whole long run but it was fun yeah and uh, so if any of you guys of course are interested in coaching maybe I won't be able to actually follow you along for your long runs but uh, we can do consultations I can create training programs for you obviously if you go visit my new website mgjcoaching.com there's a link in the description so if you're interested in customized training programs for a marathon or for shorter distances or whatever just uh, contact me through there and uh, yeah he's a really good coach there you go testimonial all right, have an awesome day. Bye. Bye.